he was good right. at manipulating you to get you to do what he wanted you to do. I did not like the way she was palarming over national television and radio about Biggie, the love of her life. In the lavish world of hip-hop royalty, where secrets hide behind golden records and platinum hits, a legendary feud has been simmering. And no, it's not between two rappers spitting bars. Instead, it's between the iconic Lil' Kim and Valletta Wallace, the mother of the late rap luminary, Notorious B.I.G. Their tumultuous relationship post Biggie's tragic passing has been the talk of Tinseltown. Biggie was the type of person to motivate you. He always wanted you, to, anyone, to succeed. He always wanted everybody to have a better life. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Now, you might wonder, what's reigniting this feud after all these years? Anonymous insiders have whispered about recent events that have thrust this drama back into the limelight. Remember 2011? Monica dropped a single anything to find you with a touch of Lil' Kim magic. But wait, Kim's verse vanished before we could even jam to it. The Culprit, a sample from Biggie's sensational hit who shot, yeah, Lil' Kim's inclusion rubbed Miss Wallace the wrong way, leading to her pulling the plug on the clearance. I don't know the Notorious B.I.G. I know Christopher. I really know Christopher. But that's not the only thorn in their relationship. A Notorious B.I.G. biopic hit the screens, but its portrayal of Lil' Kim sparked outrage. The queen bee herself felt it was more Hollywood sensationalism than a true story, highlighting some scenes she labeled pure fiction. And in a move that shook fans everywhere, Mrs. Wallace, defending the film, didn't hold back with her sharp retort against Lil' Kim. Tonight, I can say I am proud of- Amidst these public skirmishes, another layer unravels. Whispers about Lil' Kim's earnings from her albums under Bad Boy Records have been swirling. And with Diddy's recent announcement, returning publishing rights to former bad boy artists, one can't help but speculate, is Lil' Kim finally getting her due? Or is there more to this intricate web of music, money, and memories? As we dig deeper, our anonymous insiders promise more bombshells, revealing truths and speculations about this enduring conflict in the rap world. I was coming from Bloomingdale's and Biggie was sitting on a garbage can because he let her play dice. Valletta Wallace and Lil' Kim's disagreement isn't just a recent clash. To understand its roots, we must first revisit the 90s when Brooklyn was brewing with raw talent and ambition, laying the foundation for one of the greatest rappers of all time. Notorious rappers of all time, Notorious B.I.E. Not only did Biggie redefine hip hop with his gritty tales of street life, but he also introduced us to a fierce and provocative MC, Lil' Kim. Under Biggie's mentorship, Kim, a budding rapper herself, embarked on a journey with the rap mogul that would take her from being an unknown to one of the biggest names in hip hop. However, their relationship was never just about music. Despite Biggie's marriage to reteb songstress Faith Evans, rumors of an intimate relationship between Biggie and Lil' Kim frequently made headlines. It wasn't just the media that speculated. The tumultuous love triangle, Biggie, Faith, and Kim, became one of hip hop's most whispered about stories. In fact, in a heart-wrenching interview years later, Lil' Kim opened up about their relationship stating, he became my friend, my lover, my everything. Her raw emotion painted a picture of a deep bond that transcended the music. It was a tough one. I mean, um, we, had, we were going through some things and it was business related. It really wasn't personal. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to do something and he didn't want me to do it. Yet, as much as Biggie's demise devastated the music world, it also brought with it the early signs of discord between Lil' Kim and Miss Wallace. While mourning their shared loss, both women in their grief saw Biggie through different lenses. Miss Wallace, seeing her son and his legacy, felt protective and wanted to ensure the truth of his life wasn't misrepresented. On the other hand, Lil' Kim, grieving her lover and mentor, wanted to share their personal love story and her side of their entangled relationship. The rift intensified when the biopic about Biggie's life hit the big screen. Lil' Kim expressed her dissatisfaction about her portrayal in the movie, feeling that it didn't capture the depth and authenticity of their relationship. With every public statement, interview, and media portrayal, the chasm between the two women grew wider, raising eyebrows and concerns within the rap community. And he was like, you know what, Ma? I decided whatever it is you want to do, I'm going to support you because I love you. He actually told me I'm a beautiful person inside and out. These public exchanges culminated in 2011 when a song sample issue further strained their already fragile relationship. Relationship. Lil Kim was reportedly unhappy about the use of a particular song, feeling it was yet another example of her history with Biggie being manipulated. Amidst these intricate tales of love, betrayal, and misrepresentation, the question remains, how do Lil Kim's earnings from her albums with Bad Boy Records play into this saga? With Diddy's recent declaration of returning publishing rights to former artists, we're left wondering if this move might bring some resolution or if it will add another chapter to this ongoing dispute. As one anonymous insider told us in the world of hip-hop, 
the past isn't easily forgotten, and sometimes wounds resurface just when you think they've healed. As the rap community watched the discord between Belletta Wallace and Lil's Kim unfold, there was a song that poured gasoline on an already fiery feud. Monica's Anything to Find You. In the original version, Lil Kim had verse, but it was later removed. This sparked controversy, but what drew even more attention was the use of Biggie's infamous Who Shot Ya yeah sample in the song. Given Biggie's legacy and Lil Kim's personal and professional ties to him, the removal of her verse coupled with the use of the sample seemed less like a business decision and more like a personal affront. You know, I was offended. I was offended. I let her know. And she didn't like it, and I don't give a hoot. However, the real tipping point was arguably the depiction of Lil Kim in the Notorious B.I.G. biopic. Lil Kim took issue with how she was represented on the silver screen, feeling that it painted a shallow and unflattering image of her. Particularly irksome were scenes that, in her view, diminished the depth and authenticity of her relationship with Biggie. She wasn't just upset, she was livid, feeling that the movie not only did a disservice to her, but also to the memory of her late lover and mentor. Mrs. Wallace didn't stay silent. In defense of the film, she voiced her own fiery opinions about Lil Kim, suggesting that the portrayal was accurate and that Kim should perhaps reflect on her own actions during that tumultuous time. This back and forth turned what was once a simmering tension into an all-out public war of words, further polarizing fans and industry insiders alike. Speaking of insiders, an anonymous source from within the music industry shared a candid perspective with us. Everyone in the biz knows about the Wallace, Kim Tension. After the movie dropped, reactions were split. Some felt the film did justice to Biggie's legacy, while others thought it was a narrative spun to fit a certain perspective. Lil' Kim wasn't alone in her discontent. Many felt the movie was too one-sided. But in this game, you've got to pick your battles, and many chose to stay silent. Following the release of the film, the dust certainly didn't settle. In fact, many argue that the aftershocks of the Wallace-Kim feud are still being felt in the industry today. A significant talking point has been Lil' Kim's earnings from her albums under Bad Boy Records. Given the close-knit relationships and financial ties within the industry, it's no surprise that Lil' Kim's finances have been placed under a microscope. Just recently, the issue gained even more traction with Diddy's monumental decision to return publishing rights to former artists. It's a move that many in the industry didn't see coming. And with it, questions have arisen about whether Lil' Kim, a staple of the bad boy era, would benefit from such a gesture. If she does, it could potentially mean a significant boost in her revenue, especially if it extends to the track she created during her peak years with the label. But the feud's implications go beyond just album earnings. With public perception playing such a huge role in the entertainment industry, even brands and collaborators need to tread carefully. The drama between Mrs. Wallace and Lil' Kim has allegedly influenced decisions on potential sponsorships and collaborations. After all, affiliating with either party in this dispute runs the risk of alienating a section of the hip-hop community. One brand manager who wished to remain anonymous revealed, when it comes to celebrity endorsements, brands look for a package deal, talent, influence, and most importantly, reputation. The Wallace Kim tension complicates things. It's tough to determine who the general public sides with and any. Association with the feud could be a peer nightmare. Then there's the larger question of career repercussions for both parties. As the saying goes, there's no such thing as bad publicity, but in this cutthroat world of music and entertainment, public feuds can lead to lasting damage. Many industry insiders have been speculating on what the future holds for both Lil' Kim and the Wallace legacy. A prominent music journalist commented, the tension might bring immediate attention, but the long-term effects, those are unpredictable. One misstep, and either party could find themselves facing serious career setbacks as the curtain falls on the most recent acts of this ongoing drama, many can't help but wonder what's next for Lil' Kim and the Wallace legacy. Could there be a world in which these two powerhouses find a middle ground and reconcile? The world of celebrity is no stranger to feuds that simmer down, leading to collaborations or public appearances together. Think of Drake and Meek Mill, or even Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. Given the extensive history and shared connection through Biggie, the possibility of Lil' Kim and Mrs. Wallace finding a resolution doesn't seem entirely out of the realm of possibility. In music, yesterday's enemies can be tomorrow's collaborators. The right circumstances, maybe a tribute event for Biggie, could bridge gaps. However, as intriguing as a reconciliation scenario is, there's also the chance of this feud spiraling even further. With emotions running high and legacies at stake, it wouldn't be shocking if other players from the industry, perhaps those who've worked closely with Biggie or were a part of the bad boy era, chimed in with their perspectives. This could either add fuel to the fire or provide clarity to the narrative. But here's a tantalizing thought. What if, just what if, this showdown led to a joint project? Maybe a documentary shedding light on Biggie's relationships, both professional and personal from varying viewpoints? 
Such a project would be a landmark moment, not just in hip hop, but in the broader entertainment landscape, proving that even in contention, creativity can emerge. Of course, it's all speculation at this point, and the roads ahead for Lil' Kim and the Wallace family are uncertain. But one thing's for sure, the world is watching with bated breath, eager to see how this epic saga unfolds. And with that, we turn the spotlight over to you. What do you think the future holds for this celebrity showdown? Can you envision a reconciled Lil' Kim and Mrs. Wallace? Or do you think the battle lines will only deepen? We're all ears, so drop your predictions and insights down in the comments. Because in this story, every voice adds another layer to the tale.